Hey guys, so we have a really new exciting 360 degree camera in town, Panux V2. And I'm really excited to introduce all the key features of this brand new beautiful camera. Panox V2 is a solid 360 degree camera. It does enjoy 5.7K 30 frames per second video resolution. So of course I have no problem showing you guys the extra resolution and using this camera for most of this video because it really enjoys great resolution, really high quality image, beautiful color. Today's a beautiful day and really showing you the blue sky, blue sea and beautiful green leaves on the trees and 5.7k 360 degree video have you noticed that the footage is super stable even when i'm on the bike that's because the premium stabilization technology ensures smooth and steady footage even when i'm on the move panox v2 has advanced stabilization algorithm that works to minimize camera shake and vibrations so the color is beautiful with 360 degree video but it doesn't stop there for the photo don't forget to take photo with this panox v2 because it has 12k resolution for the photo so to take beautiful photo all you need is use this selfie stick which is included in the package and maybe you know stick on a tripod so i have this tiny little tripod which i just have it lying around at home so attaching it to this invisible selfie stick inside a huge three inch display just move from 360 degree video onto photo mode and I have already preset the timer countdown for 3 seconds and 12k resolution here. You can go into 5.7k but you can see that 12k resolution is a big improvement. So why not use 12k photo inside Panox V2? I'll press the button and 3 second rule. We can easily access the photo inside the new app. I see the 360 degree photo and no stitching. It's very smooth. And if you want to export it in a flat photo, then you can change the orientation 9 by 16, 16 by 9, 1 by 1. And for me, first, let me export it 360 degree photo. And the maximum resolution is 12K, which is equivalent to 72 megapixels. And here in the gallery of my Samsung Galaxy phone, I can see the 360 degree in more detail and you can really see no stitching. It's very smooth. And if I want to, I can just capture the image on the phone. But let me go back to the app and capture it 16 by 9. And you can export it in a very high resolution of up to 8K. The original panorama photo and cropped flat photo. And because the display is humongous, it's very easy to actually check the quality. And whoa, I am impressed. Although the strong sun shows a bit of shadow of the camera, but the quality is amazing. And the beautiful image quality doesn't just stop there. Even in this kind of setting where inside pavilion, it's rather dark and outside it's super duper bright because today's a beautiful day. I can definitely try the 360 degree photo in Panox V2. impressive you can really see the there is this beautiful autumn leaf and i can definitely see it in this humongous display so for photo of course you can just hand hold it rather than putting it always on tripod so this would be like a perfect place where you can hand hold it and take a photo let me also show you because the quality is still very good stable and sharp i like setting three second timer and let's see it in the app and enlarge it and really enjoy the 72 megapixel photo. You can really see the detail within 360 degree photo and just crop in and take the shot that you want over the surrounding view. So Panox V2, which is right now standing over there doing the work, doing the hard work, it does have half inch sensor. So right now it's just doing the work, taking the time-lapse video. The awesome thing about 360 degree time lapse is that you don't miss anything. There is a little doggy friend, an exact same clip, I can actually reframe it so that I can really punch into the shot that I want.
the dog was so adorable. So let me just quickly check the time lapse video. And wow, inside the display, I can actually see the time lapse automatically generated and I can just turn it around 360 degree and check exactly what was taken. This three inch display, I was first impressed and I'm loving it. So when you've come to a beautiful setting like here, you may want to share this 360 degree panoramic video with other people online or your friends, etc. And you can do so with Panox V2 because it allows 360 degree live streaming at 4K resolution. So I've actually connected these two devices, my mobile phone and Panox V2. So easy to do with my Galaxy S23 Ultra device. I've actually just hot spotted the Wi Fi onto Panox V2. To start 4K 360 degree live streaming, you need to log on to your account. For me, I'm using YouTube, but you can do it in any social media. I've logged on as Young360 and I'm starting to do live. And let me show you what you would be seeing on your mobile phone, the live streaming on YouTube. All right, so right now I am live and you can probably see 360 degree in YouTube studio. So inside display, of course, I can just circle it around, but I don't need to do that for the viewers. You can do it in your own YouTube studio. So I'll also show you guys what you guys are gonna see inside the YouTube display on the web. I can actually just turn it around to see the 360 degree view. And what I'm impressed about is the microphone quality. It's actually durable. It's totally durable for a YouTube setup, especially right now. Yes, I'm in the quiet countryside. And resolution, 4K resolution for 360 degree video, definitely workable, don't you think? While your Panox V2 is connected online, you can of course go into Google Street View and take the 360 degree photo and upload it to that particular location. With the vlog mode, with just one click of the button, it takes 15 seconds short video, which you can instantly share to the world. Sometimes, and by the way, you're hearing me directly from the microphone internal to Panox V2. Sometimes you may not want 360 degree video all the time. And in this case, you do have an option. And right now I'm just hand holding it and you get the flat video. So you can change the degree of angle to how wide you want to go. So right now I'm at 135 degrees, but you can go much wider at 100 50 degrees and this is 150 degree at one by one ratio or you can go vertical view as well which is social media friendly and the narrowest resolution is at 90 degrees the battery on panax v2 is at 1500 mah so it's very decent it does last me four five hours not a problem but if you are doing 360 degree live streaming then you would probably need an additional battery to just quickly slot it in type c to charge it while you are actually doing the streaming you can do that and so far i've been really impressed with panox v2 suitable for those of you guys who are in construction property management to show your beautiful property that you're selling or even for wedding to get the 360 degree surrounding view of the entire party and i hope you can still see the beautiful image quality with the half inch sensor on panox v2 and i'll be back with other interesting gadget reviews so see you